Machado. Mr. Michael, come on up here. So, Mr. Ray, maybe you'd kind of just give us an overview of how this is going to go. And this this is the remainder of our business uh, members. And uh, I know you will be disappointed, but it is my hope that we can conclude this by something like five, or if our staff gets us a extension from the city of West Sacramento, 530, uh, to try to wrap this up. Otherwise, we'll continue it tomorrow morning. As you know, the... Uh, Delta Reform Act requires the Delta Protection Commission to submit to the Delta Stewardship Council for its consideration and potential incorporation of the Delta Plan a proposal to enhance, sustain the unique cultural, historical, recreational, agricultural values of the Delta as an evolving place in a manner that would be consistent with the co-equal goals. And then our responsibility at the Council, your responsibility is to consider that and uh, you may, at your own discretion, choose to incorporate portions of that in the Delta Plan if you find that they're feasible and that they're consistent with the goals of the Act and the objectives of the plan. Um, the Delta Protection Commission has been developing uh, elements of this uh, proposal over the last several years. The proposal is required by law to have two components. The first is a plan to designate the Delta as a place of special significance and the law suggests they consider a designation as a national heritage area, which I think Mike will explain what the significance of that would be. And then also a regional economic sustainability plan that's to include recommendations for administration of the Delta Investment Fund, which is established in the Delta Reform Act. And the law lays out what the components of the plan ought to be uh, to help inform the Delta Protection Commission, two state agencies, uh, State Parks, my old employers, uh, submitted a proposal for recreation in the Sacramento-San Joaquin Delta. And then uh, the University of California the Ag Issues Center developed an evaluation of policy alternatives to benefit ag in the Delta, and that was submitted uh, to DPC by the Department of Food and Agriculture. Now, the proposal that uh, the Protection Commission has submitted um, is the proposal itself is attachment one to your staff report. And it's a relatively a brief piece of text um, that has an associated spreadsheet that identifies um, a series of uh, strategies, the recommendations and policies that are derived from their economic sustainability plan. The second piece of it, which is attachment two, is their uh, draft proposal to designate the Delta as a place of uh, national significance, a national heritage area, which my understanding is that it's being reviewed by the National Park Service now for completeness and will be presented to the Commission for adoption uh, once that review is completed. And then the third is the Economic Sustainability Plan, uh, attachment three to your staff report, is the executive summary for the sustainability plan. And then attachment four is the entire sustainability plan. And what we uh, thought we would do is ask uh, Mr. Machado and uh, Dr. Michael, their consultant on the ESP, to review all the components of it, the, the heritage area nomination, uh, the proposal for how they would administer the um, economic, the Delta Investment Fund, and then the uh, ESP and the strategies that are derived from it. We've done an initial review. We've already had the final plan uh, briefly before we had a, um, have a staff report in the mail to you. So we did a, an initial review of the um, 38 um, strategies that are recommended in that, and our first cut is about 24 of those. We would encourage you to consider as being feasible and uh, consistent with the Delta Reform Act. Three, uh, we need further discussions with DPC to understand um, some of the uh, details that might be involved in those strategies and just consider better their uh, consistency with the Act and their feasibility. Three of them seem to me, us to be premature because they're primarily about uh, items that will be determined in the BDCP, and so we need to wait and see how that process turns out before we would think they could be incorporated in the Delta Plan. And then we uh, are suggesting that eight of them appear to be uh, either inconsistent with Reform Act uh, goals and the plan, draft plan's objectives, or we can't see that they're clearly feasible at this time. So with that, I think I'd like to just turn the... Um,
microphone over to Mr. Machado and uh, let the okay. senator take, take okay. it.